Uh, they had a great year, huh? Just on the bottom line. Yeah, for sure. I mean, GM, well, we're expected to have around an $8 billion net income for uh, 2011. That's a record year for them. Um, but but even in terms of if you look at, you know, if you factor in inflation and look at past years, this is one of their more profitable years in history. Right. Uh, you know, it, I mean, it is, it's sort of miraculous. I mean, it is a company that two years ago was in bankruptcy. Really, there were questions about whether or not it was going to be liquidated. You know, the government came in and gave them the backs up so they weren't liquidated. Now they're turning around, they've double profits. What What's really behind that? I mean, why were they able to double profits in such a short amount of time after being near, you know, at death's door? Right. Sure. I mean, you know, a huge, huge part of it is, is the government aid that they received. I mean, they, you know, they got $15, $50 billion from the government. They were able to wipe out a lot of their debt. They were uh, able to uh, get a deal with the, with their union workers that took uh, billions and billions of dollars in health care off their books. They were able to shut down a lot of um, dealerships, kill brands. So, so they were transformed in bankruptcy in terms of their balance sheet. So certainly that's, you, ca you have to start with that. They don't have to pay taxes uh, because a as a condition of, of being a company rescued by the government, but certainly it's not, you know, that's not the only reason. There's also uh, business, business is different there in many ways in terms of, uh, you know, focusing on, on margin and profitability as opposed to, you know, just kind of going after share, market share. And, and Sharon, talk to us, you mentioned the government and Paul mentioned politically at the at the top of the segment. Talk to us about what this does mean politically. Um, President Obama has obviously uh, said that the auto bailouts were a success. This looks like good news for GM, could be good news for um, President Obama as well. Yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's an undeniable link between the two. Anything, you know, uh, critics, Critics of the bailout have a harder and harder time when these companies succeed. Uh, Chrysler uh, isn't owned at all by the government anymore. Uh, so that's definitely good news for the Obama administration. You know, and, and a lot of the, the talk uh, from, from critics of the bailout and, and critics of President Obama have kind of stepped back on attacking the bailout because, you know, more, more and more it looks like, you know, whether you like it or don't like it, these companies are, are having success and they're adding jobs back and and they're making real money. Yeah, and you know, obviously, GM is a smaller company than it was before the, before the bankruptcy, before the bailout. I don't know if it'll ever be as large as it was, but you do point out point out in your story, they are hiring. Uh, they reopened a plant in Tennessee that used to make the Saturns. Brought in some people there at thirteen thousand. Company's growing. Uh, you know, I, I want to talk about the cars for a second, actually. I mean, I think to to my mind, the Malibu and the Camaro are both really nice cars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that Camaro is, uh, that's the best car I've seen come out of Detroit in 40 years. Uh, I mean, are they making better cars now? Yeah, I think most people would, would say they are. I mean, and, and definitely customers feel that way. They're selling about as many cars in the U.S. with four brands as they were with eight brands before. So even though they have fewer brands, they have models that are more popular and more importantly they're able to sell these at much much higher prices which is a big part of what's behind their profitability they have the chevy cruise which is um you know they had just abysmal small car compact cars and and they had to sell these at huge discounts and this is a car that's selling for thousands of dollars more than than its predecessors and competing with you know with the you know the toyotas and hondas and, and fords that are out there yeah, and, and the margins, quickly, because we have to wrap this up, the margins are going to be a big deal for them next year, right? They're really trying to get those up. Yeah, and that's why, you know, GM's not going to, you know, they definitely aren't saying they're going to get to this point next year. I think there's going to be a lot of mar pressure on margins next year. Uh, the, the Japanese competitors are going to be stronger than they were this year. So so it's going to take some time. And next year, they're going to have, a, next year's going to have a lot of challenges. Uh, that's why this is a, a goal that goes, you know, two, three, four years out, not just, not 2012 specifically. Yeah. All right, Sharon Turlop, thank you very much.